And what it do, what it do, what it do, it's your boy Badger. And it's Maha. <laughs> Maha Haynes. Hey! Maha, Maha Haynes, Maha Badger Haynes, Maha Badger. Whatever y'all want to call her. Maha Haynes. This is Badger Maha Haynes. My wife. Where's your ring? I don't know. Actually, guys, it's not my wife. <laughs> Cause she doesn't have her ring on. All right, man. Welcome back. We're back, y'all. We're back with reactions. We're back on the grind off a week off. We're back, baby. And uh, yeah, we're getting back into things, man. You know, we had to come back and start this one off with a comparison video. We're back with it. Today, we're looking at what your poop says about your health. Ew. What does your dookie Ew. say about your health? Ew. That chocolate pudding booty! Mm -hmm. Chocolate pudding booty! That's chocolate no. pudding booty! Yeah, leave that in your main channel. That's chocolate no. pudding booty! What does your poop say about your health? Give them the verse of the day. The verse of the day comes from John 14, 6. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No mm. one comes to the Father except through me. Ooh, except through me. Amen. Not you. No, except through me. I was repeating what. Except through Ugh. Jesus. How about that? You happy? Mm hmm. Okay. Happy right. wife, happy life. Anyways, let's get into the video, man. 99% had this the brown poop. This is the normal, your digestive system is healthy. I got the brown poop. I had me the too. brown. I had the brown poop today, so I'm good. Me too. You did? Yeah. I bet you did. Yeah, I poop a lot. Nasty. If you have a sausage shaped poop, 95% of us had this. This is ideal shape. You're eating enough fiber and likely have no dietary concerns. Ooh, I've had a few of those. Not every time. I know in Costa Rica, it was not like that. It sure wasn't. My stomach, it, it's, I'm pretty sure it's gonna show my poop up here in Costa Rica. What? Anyways, next one. 91% had this. A sinker. Healthy poop sinks to the bottom as it's denser than the toilet water. Okay, I had that too, but I'm I healthy. I have that. I'm healthy, but I'm healthy. Ooh. I'm healthy. My pee does not say that though. Okay, so think we're talking about poop. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, this is what I had in Costa Rica. 88% <laughs> had this. Diarrhea. You may have food poisoning. Make sure you stay hydrated as this is mostly water. Oh, didn't you tell me about that? Mm -hmm. To drink water? Mm -hmm. She had me drinking coffee when my stomach was hurting. Yeah, and he was tooting and booting. Mm -mm. All throughout the airport. <laughs> I can't believe we're doing a whole video on poop. I know. Ooh, I think I had this one in Costa Rica. I just don't understand why they have the hands. <laughs> why is their hand touching the poop, bro? 79% had this mushy poop. This means you have mild diarrhea, but not bad enough to cause major concern. Mm -hmm. All right. Mushy poop, y'all. Mm, I seen that. I seen that on the trip too. <laughs> at least mine was at the end of the trip. She was going through it all week. Yeah, it was unfortunate. Yeah. Ooh. Mm, I ain't never seen this. <laughs> Same. What? Seventy-seven percent. Seventy-seven percent is that's, high. That's pretty high. What you up been doing? I'm surprised this ain't you. So this is blob shape. Eat more fiber-rich foods like beans and avocados. Oh, so this is saying if you don't get enough fiber, exactly. you eat a lot of fiber. I do. She stay eating beans and avocados. I sure do. <laughs> so no wonder why you ain't got it. <laughs> So yeah, blob shape. Ugh. Seventy-five percent had this longer than fifteen minutes. If you poop, if your poop lasts longer than fifteen minutes, it's a sign of constipation, bruh. I remember I woke up at like three in the morning. Yeah. We. It's funny because I woke up at like three thirty or ish, and we had to get up at four. Yeah. So as soon as I got done, we had to leave. So I was in there for like thirty <laughs> minutes, just going through it, standing up. Uh, sitting down, standing up, <laughs> trying to do the exercises that she told me about. Man. Yeah, I, I had that. I had yeah. that. 71% had this sweet corn. This is normal as your body can't digest sweet corn fully. Yeah. Okay. Corn, yeah. literally, you eat corn and it literally just goes through you. Yeah. Like it doesn't What's digest. The like, yeah. I don't know what corn really does for us. Yeah. But it tastes good. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they do taste good. Ooh, this badger. This the dog poop. 69% had this massive poop. This means you, it, this can mean your large intestines are getting too stretched. Oh, Lord. E you're eating too much. Oh, Ooh. girl. 
just a real yeah. big nasty turd in the toilet. Yeah. Then the toilet get all you can't anyway, flush it. Next. Then you gotta next. get the plunger. Next. Then the plunger get doo doo That's off. disgusting. <laughs> Don't go past that. All right. With the flies all around. <laughs> oh my goodness. Read this one. Because this is her. 66% had this excessive gas. This is most likely due to certain foods that you have been eating. Eating trigger foods. Bro, well, apparently anything she eats just Literally. triggers her because she farts all the time. Y'all, y'all would think it would be me. No, it's her. And? And I hate it! You still married me, didn't you? I did. <laughs> I did. I gotta deal with this for the rest <laughs> of my life. <laughs> Ghost wipe. Ghost wipe. When you wipe and there is no poop due to well compacted poop. Oh. Yeah. I thought that was due to me just sitting on the toilet for too long and it dried up. Like, you know, when you poop mm. and then I sit on the toilet for a long time, then I go to wipe and nothing there. I'm like, oh, it's because it all dried up. Ew. That's what I ne I've never thought that. I thought that. Uh -huh. Okay. Due to well compacted poop. That's what he did. Okay. So I then you think it's all dried up and then you're just okay with that? You well, okay not with having doo doo crumbs in your butt crack, man. <laughs> <laughs> you get up off the toilet. No, I put still... your drawers back on. No, oh boy, you got doo doo crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying I get up and wipe, and if I don't see nothing, I'm like, oh, I'm good. Cause it's all dried up. Yeah. <laughs> in my butt crack. <laughs> <laughs> it's stupid. It's no sense. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. What is happening? <laughs> Are you in your butt crack? Ooh, you heard that? No. It was like one of those air farts. That's the ones that stank. <laughs> Why did you put it to me? <laughs> I did this. No, you said those air farts. That's the one that, you know, the air, you don't hear it. It just poof out. It was like my stomach just did relieved. Did your hand feel it? No, I did okay. this. What did you do to your hand? I was doing this, like trying no, to. No, your hand was behind you, bro. <laughs> oh. <laughs> stress poop. 58% have this. Bowel movements can be triggered by stress and anxiety. Mm, I Whoa. didn't know that. Neither did I. That's. I don't know if I stress poop. That's a different type of poop. Yeah. <laughs> you just be stressed out and your stomach yeah. hurt now you gotta poop. <laughs> My goodness. Oh, I had mm. this. I had this before. Where was it? it no, why was it? Um, the salad, the spicy. Oh Mexican. my goodness, y'all. I, I forgot all about that. Let me read it, then I'll tell the story. 55% okay. had this burning poop. <laughs> the acid from your spicy food will burn when your poop exits. It's no, it's no concern. Y'all. Where were we at? What the salad place? Chopped. Called? I was at Chopped, y'all. If you know what Chopped is, it's a salad place. And I got the Mexican Caesar salad with everything on it. Yeah. Bro, them, them jalapenos tore up my booty hole. I ain't never got that junk again with the jalapenos. <laughs> Bro, I was dying on that toilet, y'all. I was, it went burned so bad. <laughs> I looked at the toilet, it was just pieces of jalapenos <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere, y'all. Do not get the Mexican Caesar salad unless you want your booty hole burning. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. And I remember every time I got it after, I say, no jalapenos. Back, please. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I can feel it now. I hope not. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That, this... That's why you, you tell me to drink water. That's yeah. why you're telling me to drink water. To be fair, I was drinking a bunch of soda in Costa Rica because I'm not, yeah. I don't do it a lot. So yes, I was dehydrated. 51% had this poop causing cramps. That was me. <laughs> this is a sign you aren't drinking enough water and may be constipated, need more water. That was me on the last day of Costa Rica, bro. Mm -hmm. Last day. But as soon as we landed in Charlotte, it went away. I don't know how. <laughs> It went away. 50% had this rotten egg smell. Eat less sulfur-rich foods like meat and dairy products to prevent this. Mm. Too much meat. 
Mm, that make me want to throw up. <laughs> right in the X. Yeah. Well, I ain't never heard that. Mm. <laughs> Your poop's never smelled like a rotten egg. Man, mine? Yeah. No? <laughs> Yours? Yeah, mine has before. <laughs> Girl, you might have to stay in your bathroom. Well, I do now. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> he can't get away with this. Really. I gotta clean my bathroom. That's why she's yeah. in her bathroom still. I feel like they just making names up. Oh. Rocket poop. Your I've poop. had this. 45% had this. Your poop quickly shoots out. Can't be assigned. <laughs> That's the poop you sit down and it's like <laughs> <laughs> Like automatically when you rush yeah, it, you like You don't even have to try. <laughs> oh my goodness, that one really, yeah. Oncoming diarrhea for show. Sure. Man, I ain't gonna lie, this is a time when I was in middle school, y'all, I came back home and I had to pee really bad. So I was rushing, and then you know when sometimes y'all pee, y'all fart at the same time? Oh, what? So, yeah, I went to pee, and I farted. I was like, oh, my stomach felt good, I pee. Boy, I went to go sit down and eat and everything, and my butt itch. I went down to scratch my butt, and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it was doo doo all night. <laughs> You've been holding on to doo doo crumbs since you were young. Shut up, bro. Mm, I would thank all of it, Terrence. <laughs> right? What, what poop don't smell bad? 40 Forty. Oh, go ahead. Forty percent had this terrible smell. You may have. <laughs> that sound horrible. Yeah. Gingeritis. <laughs> <laughs> Gingivitis. What is that? Gia I don't know. Gardiasis? Gardiasis, an infection that causes horrible smell. That must be like a really a horrifying really, really smell because poop smell. stinks. Yeah. But whatever that is. Yeah. That's yeah. got to be on 10. Oh, Lord. I ain't never had black poop. Yo, what the heck is this, bro? Black poop? 35% had this. This is a sign of bleeding in the upper digestive tract. Go to the doctors. Right. If you poop black poop, you need to go to the hospital because that's not normal, brother. Okay, what, how are we gonna know it's sticky unless you touch it? 33% <laughs> had this sticky poop. Sticky, difficult to wipe poop is caused by a buildup of mucus. Whoa. I didn't know the mucus and poop played yeah, a part. Yeah, same. This is interesting. This is actually a very interesting one. <laughs> Great. I had no idea about that. Are you done? Frequent toilet breaks. 26% had this. This may be me. This may be mean. This may be mean you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, and y'all be getting from me on my reading. They can't even, this is like the fifth one they messed up like this. This may mean you have irritable bowel syndrome. What IBS. if I have IBS? Huh? What if I have IBS? Well, you've been having it for the last five years I've known you. <laughs> Actually, no. I don't think you were like this when we first started dating. No, I was. I was just under wraps about it. Oh, you were just sneaky with it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, there were times I, I pooped in your bathroom. And you had the shower on or something? No, I would just stay there for longer. Or you know what I would do? I would poop in your bathroom, and then I'd shower after. Oh, yeah. I see. Mm -hmm. And the smell won't be there. Mm -hmm. So you just hit it. Yeah, mm. sure did. You should go back to that. No. No, I'm not. Just hide it from me. <laughs> Even your farts. <laughs> Just hide them all, please. <laughs> My goodness. Now that's green for sure. 5.5% had, 5 .5 had this green poop. I've had green poop. Me too. So I'm a part of the 5.5%? Did you eat lots of purple food coloring? No. Maybe it's got to be legit green. Yeah. Like high green. Mine has been like dark green, but that's when I'm really into the kale and the yeah, I've veggies. had dark green poop. I, I feel like we all had green, dark mm -hmm. green poop. They, I don't know why they, they didn't make it up here. But yeah, you ate something with a lot of purple foods coloring. Interesting. Right. Huh? Oh, whoa. Huh? Four point. What? Have you had sweet smell before? No. Oh, thank the Lord. 4.1% had this sweet smell. This is a sign of uncontrolled diabetes. See a doctor before it becomes incurable. 
So you eat so much sweets, your poop starts smelling sweet? I guess so. Bro, you gotta, you need help. <laughs> you are a sweet crackhead. Yeah. That's disturbing. I'm not trying to go in the bathroom and be like, mm, it smell like bubble gummy. <laughs> Yeah. Or it smells like scare a Tootsie you Pop. If it smells like a Tootsie Pop. I'd be kind of jealous a little bit for a second because your poop don't stink. But still, if it's a mixture of stink and sweet, that's nasty. 3.5% had this extremely long poop. I'm a part of this one. The longest poop has ever was, the longest poop ever was was eight inches long. It was full of intestinal, oh, intestinal parasites. Oh. He had parasites? No. Nope. I just remember I just looked at the toilet, it was long. I was just like, that's a nice poop right there. <laughs> Let me see Mr. My boys. Hey, look at this poop right here. <laughs> Shut up, you laughing. That's what you and your sister used to do. <laughs> yeah, she laughing. I was just playing. <laughs> it's very disturbing that her sister It's not disturbing. Y'all would take pictures and send it to each other? It wasn't often. I think one is enough for me, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> one picture is enough. Mm. What? 3% has this very white poop? This is crazy. This is a sign of an issue in the liver, possibly a result of excess alcohol. Yikes. Yo, at this point, you probably, if you're doing white poop, and you drinking that much alcohol? Yeah. That means that's all you drink is alcohol. Yeah. Exactly. Like no water, nothing. That's yeah, you gotta cut it out. That's mm -hmm. disturbing. This may be caused by overactive bowels. Too mm. much fat. Oh, too fluffy. much fat. I ain't never too seen much no fat. fluffy poop, bro. Your poop like cotton candy? Oh. What kind of booty you got? What stomach? What's wrong with your stomach, <laughs> bro? To get fluffy poop? Ooh, disgusting. Bro, you're just like really gross right now. You've been gross this whole entire video. Oh, wow. You experienced 2% of me acting gross when I experienced 500,000% of you acting gross for in every second of the day. I gotta live with it. You're experiencing a sample of you. Every second of the day. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, sorry. Every minute of the day. <laughs> it's even better. That just makes it better. <laughs> oh my God. This is the dog. This badger. <laughs> this badger, y'all. You he be pooping, it be plastics and stuff in the poop. I'll be like, bro, what are you eating? One percent had this inedible objects. You have been eating things that aren't food, which is pretty easy to avoid. <laughs> Ate an object. Uh, you know, you should not be having Legos in your poop. Right. If you have Legos in your poop, go to the doctor. That sounds so dangerous. It does. And painful to come yeah. out. Bubbly. Ooh, girl. Mm. That bubbly. I got that bubbly. You got that bubbly. We got that bubbly. We don't want that bubbly. We got that bubbly. 0.9% had this bubbly poop. Foamy poop indicates that you have to be fat. You have too much... <laughs> You have to be fat. That you have too much fat in your diet. Too much fat. A lot of this is associated with having too much fat in your diet. That's what it seems like. Yeah. So y'all, if y'all eat too much crap and too much fat, just know you might be one of these one day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think you want to be a part of the 0.9%. No. It's very hard to get there. That's not a good statistic. But it's possible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lay off the fat. Lay off the McDonald's. Yeah, fatty. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa. I'm just playing. I'm not shaming people. Yeah, we don't shame over here. <laughs> I'm just playing. 0.1% had this. What is that? Ammonia? Ammonia. Ammonia smell? This is may this may signal liver disease. Call a doctor right away. Whoa. I feel like call a doctor right away could have been on the last <laughs> ten of these. Yeah, facts. But uh, nah, this sounds very dangerous. I don't even know what this means. Hmm. I don't even know what that smell would yeah, be. Yeah, I don't know what that smell is. So either. if I was to smell it, maybe I 
I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna be like, what is that smell? I can't put my finger on it. Ooh, worms. 0.08% had this. Worms can be caught from uncooked food. See doctor immediately. Yeah, bro, if you got worms in your poop, you are a, I don't know, that's disgusting. You should have checked if your food was cooked in the beginning, brother. What if they didn't know? They, yeah, I would sue. Go sue who you ate that food from. Did you ever use It was to... my mom. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what in the Cartoon Network is this? Smoky poop? 0.05% has, has had this. Steamy poop might indicate for, what is that? Phosphorus? <laughs> Phosphorus? Phosphorus? What is that? Let's break it out, darling. Phosphorus. Split out the first four letters. Pho. Phosphorus. Bang. Phosphorus. Period! Put it in, sweetheart! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm smart. <laughs> I ain't even need no help. <laughs> Osphorus poisoning. Ugh, I don't even, why? I don't even care. I couldn't say that name. I don't even know what it mean. Type of chemical poison. Ew. Imagine you pooping and just powder coming out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, they wouldn't think poop. it's poop. They probably thought they were passing gas. Literally. Literally, someone probably, who's smoking? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it smoking here? <laughs> Man, it stank. Ew, smoky poop. Disgusting. Really? This is a thing? Really? I don't believe it. 0.004% have had a rainbow poop caused by consuming food with vibrant pigments, which means they only eat Skittles. <laughs> All they do is eat Skittles. Taste the rainbow. Literally. If you go taste the rainbow, you get a rainbow poop. Oh my God, what? 0.0001% had this a puke poop. Poop vomiting means your gut are fully blocked. You might not have long have long left to live? Bro, that that's wild. That's crazy how this is the deadliest, but 0.0001% had that. Mm -hmm. That's so it's very rare, but crazy. How long do you take to poop? Not long at all. Mm -mm. I'm, I'm kind of like in and out, and then I sit on the toilet forever. Then my then my feet and legs get go to sleep, <laughs> and then I try to get up, <laughs> and then I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> then I, it just feels very bad, but uh, not long, probably like, 20, 30 minutes. Yeah, not long. Be chilling sometimes. It really be like 10, mm. but I'll stay sitting there longer. Y'all, we just found the most disgusting thing ever. Mm. <laughs> what I'm about to show y'all, it might disturb y'all. This is what a rainbow poop look like. Look at it! That looks delicious. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of that. Well, that was the longest I've ever talked about poop. Hopefully more poop videos come out. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that post notification button, and we'll and, see you next time. And AG, 2G, all glory to God. Peace out!